All right, what is going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Star Wars The Old Republic. Now, in today's upload, we're going to be pretty much going over a little announcement that I've officially made over on Instagram. So, as you can see, we're on the server selection screen. We got a couple of servers we can choose from. Obviously, my main server, as you can already tell, is Satil Shen, which was originally a part of the... Uh, the Boston server, the Harbinger, and I think there was another one. I couldn't remember the name of it, unfortunately. But anyway, since Double XP, Double Experience event is going to be coming up next week, next Tuesday, on April 16th, I believe. Let me just double check that. April 16th. And it'll last for about a good week, I believe. Uh, I've officially decided that I'm going to officially create only two characters on each server. Now obviously we're going to start off with Starforge. I actually did a pre-recording yesterday, but unfortunately I didn't really go too much into it because my throat was having some issues, and today it's been a little bit better. So as you can tell, we're on Starforge. I've already got a couple of characters here, but we're going to ignore those characters. We're just going to focus on these two. So we, the first character that I've created is a Sith Juggernaut named Agusol Vol. He is a part of the Sith Pureblood species. And the second character on the Republic side is Malvor Kel as a Jedi Guardian. So pretty much what I am planning on doing, the reason I chose the Sith Juggernaut and the Jedi Knight, I'm sorry, the Sith Warrior and the Jedi night is basically because eventually if Starforge becomes one of my main servers then I'm going to want my main uh, companions with me a majority of the time. So I'm officially going to fully romance uh, Jaysa on Agusol and Kira for the Jedi Knight to get those two married and then hopefully with hopefully once uh, game update 6.0 hits I'm really hoping we'll get Kira back for once, um, but until then, we're still having to wait. So, once I get Starforge completed, we're going to be hopping over to the Darth Malgus server, which is actually a Europe server. So pretty much my whole idea is to only create two characters on each server, one as a Sith Imperial character and one as a Republic character. Basically getting both of those characters maxed on each server up to 70, so that way I can officially hang out with a couple of people who are on different servers. Now we're on Darth Malgus, as you can tell. I've already got a couple of characters here, and I've already got a Sith Juggernaut, Alora, already up to, to level 60. Now, unfortunately, I think I'm going to skip on leveling her up and creating a different character. Now what type of character, I have no idea, but because on uh, Starforge I've already made a um, Sith Warrior, we might do something else. So, I believe we're going to do a Jedi Counselor for Darth Malgus server. We're going to stick with the Jedi Shadow. I believe I'm going to do... I think honestly for this, I actually might do a pure blood for this one. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm gonna do a male for this May one. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. I actually already like this design. I just don't like the hairstyle. So let's see. I think I will probably stick with that. The best way to win is by not fighting. Now, for the Jedi, the uh, Jedi Counselor storyline, you do uh, obtain Nadia as a companion, and I've never fully romanced her, so I figured why not give it a try. I actually already, I don't think I'm gonna change too much on this, to be honest. I'll probably do like a scar here, but. Uh, I don't think I'll do too much. I 
Sorry, I had to pause for a second. The Jedi way is to serve. Now here's the biggest complete ass of this is creating a name, which is obviously just ugh. so we're gonna try something else. We're gonna try Jedi Guardian. Um how about Zamba? Oops. Zamba Gray. Uh, Zamba Oak. Sweet. So we got the Jedi Counselor on that. I think we're going to do Sith Inquisitor next for the character creation. Um. There's not really too many companions that I really want to romance. Um, there's a couple that I wouldn't mind, but I, I just don't really want to do the bounty hunter, not the bounty hunter, the trooper storyline. I just really hate that. The tr don't get me wrong, the trooper storyline is really, really good. I just don't like the abilities at all. Move those around, and we're going to log out. Now for the Sith Inquisitor, I think we're going to do, instead of constant purebloods, which obviously is my favorite species, we're going to do probably a human this time. So we're going to do Sith Assassin, which is already on pureblood. Well, how about that? Um, actually, let's do Chiss. Yeah, let's do Chiss. Just show me where the fun is. Skin color. Maybe dark blue. Oh, that's dark blue. I like that. It looks more blueberry to me. I think we're going to leave the hairstyle... Uh, the hair color, I mean. But... I kind of want to do no, that. that. so bad, was it? I'm not even joking, when I do character creations, it takes me, like, a good 30 minutes just to figure out something. No, you know what, I'll do that. Yeah, that's fun. Let's look at a different hair color, though, just to be fun. I need black, obviously. I definitely don't want that. Yeah, we'll stick with that. I like that. The head, the head, head size, whatever you want to call it, that's fine. Um, I think aren't these all like the dip? No, no these are different. Than these. No, they're all the same. Never mind. I'm just doing a little scar across the eye. Collection, everything else looks pretty good though. I gotta admit. And I believe the assassin becomes a lord, if I'm not mistaken. Sith Lord. Um, let's do. Oh, Shiva. Oh, Shiva Vale. Try that. Now, of course. Here's the biggest thing, too. If I ever decide against the name, because I've had a couple of characters that I've created fully, I've done everything, got their name done, but then I go back and I don't like the name, pretty much what I do is I copy the entire appearance that I already have, and then I will go back and recreate the character figuring out a different name. But with this one, though, I think I'm going to leave it, because I actually really like it. And there we go. So now we got Darth Malgus server done. So pretty much, if you're thinking, how are you going to level up each character max the entire week? Well, pretty much what I end up doing, let's take this for example, Shiva. I will get her through Korban and Drum and Koss. And for example, if she stops at, say, level 25, I will stop at level 25, go back to Zanbar, get him through Tython and Coruscant, get him all the way up to 25, go back to Shiva, and then do another couple of levels here and there, and then it's just pretty much constant back and forth, back and forth.
All right, sorry about that. So I believe uh, right now, unfortunately, that's all the time that I have just for the moment. Um, we've already gone through Star Forge and Dark Malgus. Next upload will be uh, checking out some characters on the Leviathan and Tulak Horn. Uh, like I mentioned, I do apologize that I am short on time, unfortunately. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.